from Derby and seated number 32, Suicidal Tendencies. The bendy pneumatic action front forklift give high class weaponry at either end. It runs on tracks hand built from aluminium and it ran Mace too close in its heat in the last series. It was a real bash, bruise, and shunt that tendencies for the brunt of the attacks of Mace 2 and in the end went out. Promises though damage and an aggressive competition this time around again. Good robot. Hi. I'm Charles Binns, this is Andrew Jeffrey, and this is Martin Jeffrey, the brothers. This is Suicidal Tendencies. We're here from the last war, Series 3. Now we're here for the next war. Lots more battles. The new improved Suicidal Tendencies. We've got a little toothpick here to obviously punch some holes in robots. There's a nice titanium front lifters here to lift them or flip them and put them in the flame pit. Same tracks again. Very fast. Fastest track robot around. Lots of pneumatics, gas tanks, batteries, powerful electric motors. Hopefully we're going to do very well. From Maidstone in Kent, get a drop. Third in the second series, and pretty in pink, the big axe is back. Two 24-volt driven machine, quick at 15 miles an hour. Genuine contenders again. In that second series, they used every bit of the 80 kilos force to see off Technophobic. But the weaponry proved too lightweight against the then reigning champions roadblock and Killatron went out finishing third in the competition this is Killatron he's a veteran of robot wars this is Abdul he's the engineer and this is Ian he operates the pickaxe which is our main weapon and which we hope to do lots of destruction with Roboteers stand by there's Maverick Young Francis and Brett, Kevin Gallagher there in the background, suicidal tendencies. Andrew Martin Jeffrey, Charles Binns, the driver. And Killatron. Richard Broad at the controls, Abdul and Ian with him. So it's Killatron moving first. You can see the axe slamming down. And again, taking on Maverick. In comes suicidal tendencies. They say they've got a, a toothpick of an axe this time around. Oh, there it is! Just a little flick. It really doesn't seem greatly effective against the mightier blow of that Killatron axe. Killatron, at the moment, though, not causing any damage to anyone, and it's suicidal tendencies getting in underneath. Killatron, very fast track robot. Meanwhile, Maverick doing its stuff just neatly, tidily, quietly effective. Little flick again of the toothpick comes out at a, a blur of speed there, not causing great damage, or is it? to the uh, shell of Killatron. Killatron getting those two 24 volt motors into action just to drive it away, but now the front of punishment is for Maverick back into the CPZ and Matilda can come in with a chainsaw tail. Oh, Killatron slamming down onto the arena form, bouncing up with the force of the attack. Now onto the top of suicidal tendencies. Bulletproof shield for the tendencies. Maverick still in there fighting, they've shown great Great invention and great character, the young boys, Francis Gallagher and his mate Brett Skinner, both of them 10 at Spring Hill Junior School. Dad Kevin Gallagher is a golfer, he says. Well, the boys are in control of Maverick, slamming into Killatron. Behind Killatron is suicidal tendencies. And the pink one at the moment is the meat between the sandwich. In comes Red Pop just to have a, a cursory glance. Suicidal tendencies moving sluggishly. A sticky old heat, this one. All three robots still in competition, it would seem, at the moment. But suicidal tendencies in underneath Maverick. Down comes the hammer blow again from Killatron. This way up. Well, at the moment, they've not been flipping. They have now. Maverick over and out. Oh, disappointment for Kevin Gallagher, son Francis and young Brett. There they went. PTO, PTO, no. They don't have that message written there. They're over and out. And that means, yes, in come the house robots for the kill. Shunt with the axe, penetrating. Look at that, slicing through. Oh, and again, so very, very easy. Like taking the top of a world egg and again. Oh, poor old Maverick. Gashes in the bottom. Split wide open Matilda, dead metal. The two remaining robots, Killatron and Suicidal Tendencies, just staying out of the way. This is dead metal. A slice is nice. So. Oh, on the flipper. Maverick is right in. Too late, though. They were immobilised too long, far too long, and they know it. Brave display. The boys go out. 
Oh, Maverick flipped up and out of the competition. My star of the battle so far, Francis Gallagher, the Schumacher of Robot Wars. That's what we said earlier, didn't we? Yeah. How are you feeling? Gutted. <laughs> Gutted. I know, it's awful, isn't it? It's not yeah. fair. What happened? One of the links came off our servo, we think. It just stopped our weapon from working totally, and that was it, basically. Oh, dear. So your good driving gone to waste, really, with that. Yeah. Will you be back for the next wars? Might be. Come on, come yeah, on. Come on yeah. You will. You've been a brilliant sport, so uh, we'd love to see you back. You've all been an excellent team. Well done. Maverick. Francis Von Gutted goes out with Maverick. Suicidal tendencies and Killatron go through. Willie Big Cheese and Wildosaurus already there, of course. And Willie Big Cheese meets Killatron. Suicidal tendencies meets Wheelosaurus. The seeds kept apart. There was a time when pinball used to cost 10p. Now it could cost you the price of a robot in our pinball warrior tournament. So, let the trials begin! The Pinball Warrior Tournament uh, test of driving skills, control and pace. Spawn and Scutter dominating the scoreboard, but look, nine robots of quality to come. From Maidstone in Kent, Smitty. Stands for sorry, mate. I didn't see you, S-M-I-D-S-Y. Mike Reed, Robin Bennett, Andy Pugh at the controls. Roboteers, stand by. What sort of tactics will they use? Go straight for the barrels, that's what uh, everyone else has done. They'll go for the spear to put it into that pit, that'll pick them up 20 odd points. Oh, they're going straight for the bridge! And up and over the ramp, we haven't seen that yet! And that'll get them 20 points immediately! Good start, multiple release, another 10! Now, knocking the spear into a highlighted pit, that'll give you 25 points, attacking the barrels. Normally easy peasy these, what are they doing? Dancing around the barrels, hit them, hit them, get them down. Dead metal closing. Well, that was a strange lack of direction. And I think they're in trouble, there's smoke coming out of Spinzi! The paint is sneaking and smoking. Now, finally, barrels go down. But that was a muddled sort of phase there. Tucking the barrels again, 10, 15 more points for Smidzy. You need to hit the big targets, boys, around the arena flanks. There you have one. Go on, get in there. Try and get beyond Killalot. Pick up some easy points. Can't. Good defending by Killalot. Ah, they're being frustrated here. They keep turning down blind alleys. Take on Matilda to get 50. No, Matilda's tusks in the way. Time is running out for Smitty. Oh, it looked a good run, and in the end was disappointing. Flattered only to deceive. Great start, wasn't it? Up and over the ramp. 20 points. The first robot to succeed in that area. Then the multi-ball release. 10 more. But you see Bash thwarted one attack. Yes, the barrels, but it was all confused after that. Ah, and they ran out of velocity and ideas and points, too. Disappointing for Smithy in the end, wasn't it? Only 70 points with the spawn of Scutter, but look at the quality of robots to come, like Gemini and Firestorm 2. Not over yet. Our pinball tournament will spring back into action very soon, but right now, it's back to the wars. Backstage with the Killertron team. Those doors are about to open. You're going to go in there up against the wheelie big cheese. Yeah. Quite tense? Mm. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. It's coming. Yeah. The big cheese is quite tough and tender, but I think we've, we've got to beat it. We really have. You we, can't get, we can't get knocked out by a bit of cheese, really. <laughs> Just can't be. And the wheelie big cheese team about to go into the arena. Apparently you set fire to yourself earlier. That doesn't bode well, does it? No, no. It's uh, pretty good, though. So, what happened? Uh, I was cutting some titanium, and uh, I had a check shirt on, and the sparks just started a fire. Up in and smoke. I, I doesn't bode well. Yeah. But you were, were voted best fight in the last wars with Chaos 2. Yeah. And you got to kill a lot in the last battle, didn't you? Oh, I went for him, yes. Didn't quite get him tipped over, but survived the encounter. You came out all right? Yes. So you can get through anything then, can't you? With a bit of luck. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. Roboteers, stand by. Winnie Big Cheese, Team Captain Roger Plant is fond you a big performance in Robot Wars. And Killatron. Richard Broad, the team captain, there on the left-hand side of the controls, an aircraft interior fitter 
Just any ordinary chunk of cheese. Oh, Gruyere, you want to come and bet on that? Killatron on the left-hand side. There's Richard Broad. Oh, down comes his axe, but up comes the flipper of Willy Big Cheese! And Killatron immediately turned over onto its coxcomb there. And can they recover their senses and their place in Robot Wars? That was a sensational flip from Willy Big Cheese. What power! And again, actually flicks itself up and over, doesn't it? But can right itself, of course. Oh, there's the old piggyback. This is great stuff.